Coach, um, Coach, yeah, just kind of talk about front seven. You're having a lot of issues with that, but also it seemed like uh, the left side of your offensive line, it's real young right now with a redshirt sophomore and a redshirt freshman. You think they got a lot of good experience against that kind of a team, though? I think they got a lot of good experience of taking a step and turning and the guy being right a step behind them. Uh, their front seven was dominating the game. It was very easy to tell. We knew that going in, how good they were. Their linebacker core and even their safeties that, that inserted themselves in the run, uh, they just do. They just have matches. They're just better than us. Uh, and you know, there's no other way to say it. You know, I, I could sit here and and talk about how we did this, we did that, but we didn't. Uh, their front seven dictated the game to us, and uh, the, the outcome is what it was. Talk about the switch from Mitch Hood to Justin Holland before the first half, and what kind of. Well, it just felt like. We needed something, a spark. And we we got to try something to get things going. And uh, you know, Mitch was struggling. It wasn't all Mitch's fault. You know, there were receivers that, that weren't running the right routes, and uh, the routes were the depth they're supposed to be, and not getting the right release, and crowding things up. And then uh, the pressure he was under all night. Uh, just felt like if we got somebody else in there, and you know, Justin in there, and see what we could do, and you know, it worked for uh, that drive. Uh, and then. You know, it just all fell apart. Talk, how did you guys respond today, Monday? You know, I mean, it's such a short-term memory, mm -hmm. you know, in a game like this. How did you guys feel like you responded to practice? Oh, we just told them it's, it's one game, you know, and the good part about it is we have a chance to, in six days, five days, to go to Western New Mexico and get this taste out of our mouth. And, you know, they're embarrassed, and, you know, I'm embarrassed, but, you know, you got to look at it. You know, the, that this is a better team, and uh, I wish that we'd have been more competitive. I thought it would have been more competitive, but uh, you know it just happened that way. And you know I, the kickoff at the end of the half was you know, devastating to our morale when we have a little momentum going. And you know I, I'll take all the blame for that. I you know I I got to stick to the decision I make. And uh, I said you know we need to sky kick this so there's no issues. And we had a great wind at our back. And I got a lot of faith in uh, John Cummings and. He just missed kicked the ball, and that happens. We still have to tackle him. I can't blame the kicker for all that. And, uh, we have 10 other guys out there that have to make a tackle, and we didn't do our jobs uh, as a unit. So they came back to get us, and uh, from then on, it was all downhill. Was it just a case of the defense being on the field so much? I mean, because they kind of kept you in it in the first half. Uh, I mean, we can say that, but, you know, I talked to our defensive guys uh, last night today, and you know, I said it's – we have to be mentally tough. I said, you know, we have to have the mentality as a defense that wherever they put the ball down, whatever the situation, we're going to go out and stop them. I don't care if they put it out on the asphalt in the in the parking lot and say we're not going to come through this parking spot. And I think that's the mentality we have to have. But we don't have that yet. You know, we you can sit there and, and blame people and you know say the offense didn't do this, but sometimes the defense isn't doing that. So you know that was my whole thing is the. Defense played well, yes. I uh, will say that our special teams played well other than the kickoff, yes. Our offense did not play very well. Right? But we don't get two wins for those two units playing well and the offense losing. We get a loss. So we play as a team, we win as a team, we lose as a team. And you know, I don't want any fingers being pointed or anything. Going to Western, another long trip. You were talking about that a while ago. You're traveling so many miles this year, another one this Saturday. Yeah, it, we're going to break it up on the way out uh, and do uh, – get to Albuquerque and get them off their feet or get them on their feet really they'd be sitting on that bus and uh, get them out running around a little bit and then so it's a four and a half hour to Albuquerque then three and a half to we're staying in Deming so not all going all the way to Silver City uh, so we'll break it up that way and you know get them off off the bus as much as possible and you know the good thing is I really like the fact that it's a noon kickoff local time and for them and uh, we get up we go right to work we don't have to sit around and wait in a hotel all day. Coach West, oh, sorry, Western New Mexico, uh, new, brand new coaching staff. What, what do you expect to see from them? They've been pretty uh, competitive. They're uh, offensively, uh, they do a lot of the quarterback making the decisions and the RPO stuff. And, uh, the quarterback is very efficient and very good at what he does. Uh, they're very well coached. You can tell on film uh, how they go about their business and the way they do things. So. Uh, defensively, they're very sound in their gaps. They play very similar defense to what we saw uh, with Tarleton State. And so that will help our, our offense a little bit. Uh, familiarity, and uh, I will say this, they're, they're good up front, but they're, you know, 
I can't say they're as good as what we just saw until we get down there and play. Um, but, you know, very well coached, very sound in what they do. And, you know, they got some talented players down there, and, you know, it's going to be a heck of a game. It can be tough when you have, like, a pretty young team to, like, come off of losses like this when you're a young guy. But how does that bode well for, like, their growth over the rest of the season and maybe even, like, two seasons from now? Well, I think that's to be seen. But in what I've seen in the past is, you know, kids are resilient. And I think the the biggest thing is let's go get the next one. All right? Let's not have this feeling again. This is something that we will constantly remind them through the summer, you know, through the off season, and that we don't want to be pushed around like that again. And why are we doing this? You know, to be here in the summer so these type of things don't happen again. I think experience-wise, uh, just being on the field and and going up against those you know, type of players, especially our freshmen going up against seniors like this, it's it's going to help them in the long run. It's a downtime now, and they shouldn't be frustrated. Uh, but it gives them something, hey, if we work and get to be where they are, their size and their speed, good things can happen to us as well. Will you go back to Mitch as the starting quarterback this week? Uh, we're evaluating that, and we'll know Wednesday. Coach, you mentioned how the special teams played overall well against Tarleton and kind of looking at how the season's gone on so far. Um, kind of evaluate how you've seen the special teams grown between Tobias's performance on special teams as well as the big hits we saw in Tarleton last week. Well, I think there are two crucial plays in the game the other night in the special teams. We had a nice return and we had a block in the back, and it, it turned out not a 10 yard penalty is what it goes, but it's a 50 yard penalty from where Tobias had returned the ball to and then the kickoff. But other than those two, uh, I'm glad to have Brandon Blair back. He was the one making all those hits uh, down there. and. Uh, He's a, he's a little spark plug for us going down there and doing it. And he his role this week was you're a backup running back and you're on special teams. And I love the way he took his role to heart. And he was going to play as hard as he could every play he was in there, and he did that. And I think it feeds off in the special teams. It gives the rest of the team an energy. You know, they can feed off what happens on the special teams.